What's up, everyone? Um, this is Laird again. Uh, giving a brief tutorial on sampling with uh, NN19. Um, this video is going to be a shortcut because hopefully, from the other one, I showed you how to use NN19 when you sample. This one is just a short tutorial on how it would sound if you use different techniques um like splitting and chopping up um as you can see here as we scroll through the reason I have like quite a few NN19s here um I did this song before I learned how to use the MPD on and uh a different device making it a little bit faster so I did it the old school way and uh, it took me a little while to get it right um, as I pull it to sequencer you can see all the different patterns I've had I have here such as each sample here so if you listen when I hit the pads each um, sample here like the bass lines um and the regular samples are about one second long um should we still continue scroll through So back up at the top, let me mute the drums. Um, with all these samples I rearranged. Um, actually the original sample is from Teddy Pendergrass. Uh, can't remember the freaking song I did it so long ago. I would have to look it up on my uh, files, but I don't have that much time because I only get 10 minutes for this video. Um, I'm going to play it out, I guess, and you guys can see what it sounds like when I assembled all the parts together. It was an 8 second sample, but I broke it up into 1 second pieces and rearranged everything. So check it out. Now mind you, I did this without uh, using an MPD, which um, I will show in the next video how to use it on uh, with Reason and an MPD. You, uh, right now with the finished product and the drums put in, it pretty much sounds like this. That's enough of that one. I'm going to have to start on the other video, um, which I will introduce how to use an MPD with uh, Reason 4.0. Peace. 